Hello, my name is Melanie Armstrong and I work in the Education Data Division at the Department for Education. I'm here to talk to you about what is the school census and how the data is used. This slide provides the topic list I'll be covering. Every term, the school is required by law to send some of the data to the department via the school census. The census is the department's primary source of administrative data about pupils attending schools in England. The data collected is vital in supporting a number of the department's key objectives and is widely used for the purpose of improving and promoting the education or well-being of children in England. It helps us to make sure we're allocating funds where they are needed and that no groups of children are missing out on the education they deserve. Depending on the phrase and type of school, the census will contain some or all of the school level modules shown on this slide. It should be noted that not all of this information is collected for each termly census. Please refer to the school census guidance which will provide further details of what is collected and when. Depending on the characteristics of your school and the age of your pupils, the census will contain some or all of the pupil level modules shown on the slide. Not all of this information regarding your pupils is collected for each term of census. Please refer to the school census guidance, which will provide further details of what is collected and when. School census data is collected three times a year. For each collection, the date you return should reflect the position in your school as at census day. This slide provides the timetable of each term of collection. The statutory return date by which all schools must have made the submission is always four weeks after the census day. There are many uses for the data collected via the school census. This slide shows just some of them. The Education Skills Funding Agency will use the school census for funding allocations. The data will also underpin performance tables and a number of national statistical publications. Therefore, it's very important that you submit the correct data at the right time. School census data is collected using the department's centralised data collection system for education, known as Collect. Collect offers real-time data collection monitoring and progress reporting, and it allows schools and the DfE to view the same information at the same time. Access to Collect can be gained via Secure Access, known as SA. Each school should have an SA approver who will be responsible for setting up relevant users. If you do not know who the approver is in your organisation, please contact the SA help desk via a service request form. If you are an approver and not sure how to set up the users, please refer to the SA approver guidance. Links can be found on the further information slide at the end of this presentation. A beta release of the School Census Collect Portal will be made available to all schools and local authorities prior to the census going live. This will allow files output from your school's MIS to be tested prior to the census going live. The department would strongly recommend that where possible all schools take the chance to load a file output from the management information system into the Collect Familiarisation Portal. This will enable you to double check that all the required data is output correctly from your MIS into your census return. You'll be able to check whether there are any validation errors or queries generated against your data when loaded into Collect, which can be resolved before the collection goes live. This will be especially important for any schools completing the school census for the first time. The Data Collection Help Desk will provide details of the arrangements for access and collect familiarisation portal to schools via a census readiness bulletin. This slide provides links which you may require before and during the collection. To find more information about how to submit your census data to us, including details about what data is collected for each term of census, and further information you'll be required to know can be found on gov.uk. Please take some time to read these documents as they help fulfil your statutory requirements and successfully complete an accurate return. In addition to the online documents, we also provide a data collection forum. The purpose of the forum is to provide a facility to allow customers to exchange ideas and good practice 
relating to specific data collection and related EDD systems. You will require a username and password to access the forum. If you do not have a username and password, or if you have any questions about the facility, please complete a service request form. I do hope you found this presentation helpful. Thank you.